Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. Steve is here and today is going to be a quick video to teach you how to save a website as a PDF. And what sparked this video was me and my girlfriend had a return we had to do, an online order return, and I'm sure many of you have gone through this. You want to return something, so you do it all on the website and they email you a PDF, but not as a file, as a link, and it opens in a browser. So we were, we were trying like for not hours, but it took a while. Um, it was really convoluted. It's easy, really, really easy to do in Safari on your phone or tablet, on your iPad and on your iPhone. But it's, um, it's an extra step when you're in Chrome. So I'm going to show you now. So this is how to save a website on your iPhone or your iPad as a PDF. So you can email it to yourself or text it to somebody. So I'm going to screen share right now screen record right now on my phone and explain it to you and I'll start with Safari. So this is what you have to do. Let me swipe down and then three, two, one. All right, it's recording now. As you see, I'm in Safari on my iPhone. So what you have to do here is really simple. On the bottom, the little square with the arrow pointing up, you click on that. And now you see Easy Pass New York Plus on the top. It says easypassnewyork.com. In Safari, all you have to do is click on the blue options right there, change it to PDF, hit done, and now you can airdrop a PDF, you can text a PDF, you can email a PDF, um, WhatsApp a PDF, you can mark it up. If you want to draw on it, you could print it, you could save it to Dropbox. And I will just hit text message so you see. And right there, the PDF of that website is in my email. Now, this would be your um, return document. So you could email it to someone if you need to print it, if you don't have a printer. Um, and it's that easy. So I'll X out of this and now I'll go to Chrome. Chrome is a little more convoluted. Same website in Chrome. Here, the square with the arrow pointing up is in the URL bar. So you click on that. And now you can see here, it still says easypassny.com on the top, but there's no blue button to click options. So here there's a second step. Now you have to scroll down until you see print and you click on print and it'll bring up the printer interface. And if you want to print it, you can print it there. But if you need to send it, you can't save it as a PDF, like just by clicking in printer. You have to take your pointer finger and your thumb and expand page one like press it and pinch to expand and now you'll see there's another square with an arrow pointing up you click on that and now it defaults to a pdf document and now you could email it or text it or send it any way you want so if i hit messages there it is again in my text as a pdf and it's that easy for safari and pretty easy and convoluted for Chrome. And it works the same on your iPad. It'll look the same. The, uh, the buttons will be in the same area, I believe. But that's pretty much all you have to do. It's really weird that you can't just hit print and then print as a PDF like you can on your laptop um, or your PC or your Mac. Um, it's pretty simple. And I'm not saying that this is hard, but for anyone who's not tech savvy, you would not know where to go to do this. So that is how to save a website as a PDF. And like I said, no one's really saving websites as PDF. It's just for when you get like documents that for some reason they don't send you a file to print. They send you a link, like a return uh, voucher and you click it and your return voucher shows up in the website and they just expect you to print it. And if you don't have a printer, you're gonna wanna email that to someone else. Um, I mean, you could technically send the link, but sometimes it's better just to send the files so you can open it and print it. And that's pretty much it. If this was helpful, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I think I'm up to about 115 subscribers now. So I'm, I'm gaining really quickly now. Once I hit 100, it's only been a couple of days since then, uh, maybe a couple of weeks, and I've gone up by 15. Uh, I think I'm on my... I think I'm above my pace that I set before when I finally got to 100, but I, I want to thank you guys again. Like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time. I hope you're all having a great week, and I hope it's summer everywhere. I hope it's nice, beautiful, warm weather, and I'll talk to you guys on my next video. Peace.